just made it to Long Point. I wanted to go to Chisa CB, but it's closed and it didn't. I tried to negotiate, they didn't let me go through. Provided an alternative, which is Long Point, which is a little bit further north. I think I think there's no road further north than this, but it, it looks suitable. I checked the depth here, so there's a nice rocky beach, and I think it's gonna work. I walked in the water and I looked at, and it looks like it's gonna be okay. November Alpha is there. I'm gonna rig it up and hopefully uh, right now it's high tide it's coming down there'll be another high tide at 3 p.m tomorrow so i'm hoping to put it to put the boat and uh, less than 24 hours from now it's probably going to be ready to put in the water in a few hours but okay i'm starting to prepare the rigging and i noticed a little problem here this is all broken from all the road and the impact so i don't know how i'm going to deal with this that means i cannot well, it's gonna be hard to roll. See, the welding just broke. This broke. Not surprising, it looks pretty flimsy to start with. So I'm gonna to have to, I mean, this is used to roll back the mast and then raise it. I think I'll be able to raise it. And once it's raised, I'll need to fix this. Okay, I was able to roll back the mast. So this held, I taped it with duct tape. You know, it's bent, but it does the job. And next is to raise the mast. It's, uh, that holds the mast flies from traveling the mast is all backed out and I'm gonna raise it Mast up and secured. Whew. Tide is down. I'm gonna go check what it looks like. Okay, I think it's gonna work. It's gonna be right here. Whoop. Nope. Between those two. I'm gonna drive the van between those two here. Right here. Those are nice. All wood. Very heavy. Not that much lighter than my boat. <laughs> Been here for three days now <clears throat> morale is low and uh you know starting to ask myself some existential questions <laughs> things are not progressing uh, smoothly this is the ramp right here <clears throat> works well for these boats <clears throat> so i did a test yesterday and the boat kind of floated a little bit i didn't put out the, the <clears throat> I didn't put the boat in the water yesterday because it was way too windy coming from the south. I mean gusts at like 30, 35. And but I, I could test. And it looks looked like it was floating, but very marginal. I'm not sure it's gonna glide off the trailer. And of course I'm alone here. And this morning it's foggy. The, it was supposed to be no wind, but now there's wind coming from the west. And that brings fog, plenty of fog. And the thing is, the wind are not favorable for the next few days. So even if I go out, I cannot go north. And the thing is, after that, it becomes favorable. But again, it's like 30 knots wind, you know, plus 35, 36. And I mean, there's not many people here. So if you're in trouble, you're in real trouble. See my tracks? And I almost got stuck here. I don't have four wheel drive. Of course, there's uh, fortunately there's some Cree that come here with their pickup trucks. And you know, I see a few every day. So I'm probably gonna ask them to pull me out if, if I run into trouble. But this is a uh, long, long point, foggy. And the wind is not, not that great. I mean, my concern is alone like this without a dock put the boat in the water and it just drifts and it's hard for me to I mean it's very shallow 
tide is uh, four four feet here. So now it's low tide, but it's it's gonna come up to like it's come up to this rock, and that gives me like waist deep, waist deep at the back of the of the, just a, a little over waist deep at the back of the boat, but not the front. The front is completely out. So I don't know. It's getting uh, it's getting a bit rough. After all this travel thinking I'm not gonna put the boat in the water kind of really sucks so I'm a little depressed I'm a little discouraged also I met some Cree yesterday and they told me that a sailboat is a monohull grounded just north of here and uh, the boat is a total loss it's still there in, in uh, very bad condition still grounded so somebody lost their sailboat here and it's really not a good place for sailing because the the maps are you know the surveying is there's a lot of areas there's there's no there's no uh map there's no map for a lot of areas here so you kind of just i just have to be careful and that's i mean i understand why they use these boats very shallow and uh you know you hit a rock it's not the end of the world you can lose your engine and those guys say they lose their engine all the time then they come back rowing <laughs> I cannot come back rowing with this thing. It's 9.30 a.m. And uh, high tide is at 4.45. So I got all this time to wait. The boat is ready, everything is ready. So I'm gonna make myself a little hot chocolate. Try to boost my spirit a little bit. Check in later. the bridge Lost my heart on the river in The story goes the end unfolds Find the answers in the cold Well, I am unable to put the boat in the water So I just tried here and I tried on the other side, there's two sides here. The slope is good, but once it gets in the water about 10 feet, then it flattens out. Same thing on the other side. So even if I have like, you know, almost close to waist, I need, I need about chest. I mean, the boat needs like knee deep to float, but it's on a trailer. So, you know, to get off the trailer, I need like, you know, mid chest level and I am unable to get that here. On this case for three days the boat is all ready to go and I got, got, got all my gear got all my gear set up <sighs> I know the boat ramp at Fort Georges just next to Chisasibi would work you know it's close to tourists oh, I think I'm gonna quit this one and call the council of the Cree console of Chisa CB and convince them to let me go through and use the ramp at Fort George. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to sit on a rock and cry. <laughs> So back in the Red Zone, now I think the only option I have is to enter uh, Shisa CB. Okay. I'm trying again in Chisa CB. I'm gonna go through the gate and I'm gonna try to make my case a little bit better than last time. So I finally made it to the Fort George boat ramp. So this is what it looks like. So as you can see here, there's a construction worker they're installing high-speed internet from the from the ocean. I think the cable goes all around to the north. <laughs> it's just crazy, and they supply a bunch of villages. So they're all from France. So it's a French contractor, and of course the French, when they see this, they really like it.
okay everything looks good here here all right the inner stay is not very useful but i put it anyway good That's okay. And the bit the, the boat scraped a little bit on the rock there, but we pulled it in a nice sand. Thanks to Jonathan for helping. This guy me. broke your trailer. <laughs> Merci. Thank it's you. Eh? It yes. Needs, uh... Yeah, that's just the screw. Yeah. yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm glad it's done though. I got no regrets 